What is up, guys? We're back, and it's time for the final best of three. And uh, this is a great way to end the day here. First against Mario. Yeah, it's quite a nice match indeed. Uh, I really liked uh, first build that last game. Some some really creative stuff coming out. It's, it's interesting because that was also a PvP, so he's probably going to have to bring something new here against yeah. tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing what the map vetoes are, actually. Uh, see how those, those end up. First Here's first right now. Yeah. He barely lost a party um, in his first game. He eked out a win there against yeah. Hack. Now he's up against Maru. Well, uh, Maru got so slammed by Parting, but first and Parting play very differently. So true, so true. So I don't think it's going to look anything like that. Hope Maru's shoulder's OK. As we see him doing that motion a lot. Yeah. His rotator cuff isn't hurting or something. Yeah, possibly. It's kind of funny the arm he did it on, though. That's the keyboard arm. Normally, you don't have as many issues with that shoulder or that wrist. Well, it depends. Sometimes people do have problems with that, though. Yeah, of course, but I'm I saying not got, nearly as often as I get as a lot of problems on, on my side, actually. I have more problems on the keyboard side than on the mouse side. Really? Yeah, throughout my life. Do you keep life. your keyboard flat against the bottom of the desk? Uh, no. All right. I have it uh, tilted up. That's good. I, I had before tried to keep it a bite. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Oh. Ow. Ow. Artos has bumped my injured knee. It's all right. Yeah. Don't be such a pansy. Come on. <laughs> Well, we're waiting for this game to start. Um, it looks like there's some deliberation inside the booth at first. How he's going to play ready. this. Yeah, he's ready to go. If Maru doesn't make it through tonight, that oh. is like so few Terrans so far. Only one. Only Yoda's made it. And Yoda, guys, Yoda is not winning this season, just so you know. Just to get this straight, Yoda Prime isn't winning GSL. If he makes it to the round of 16, I'll be very, very impressed. <laughs> so. Like, we need Maru to get through here. Although, I really would like first to get through because I really like this Protoss quite a bit. All right, well, I'm, I'm personally rooting for Maru here. I really want to see Maru make it. Because if he doesn't make it, I think that's a, a much lower probability than that we'll have a, you know, a great Terran player in the finals. Yeah, indeed. Well, uh, Vito's a little bit different this time than playing Foxtrot as the third map. Yep, two standard maps in the beginning. It's going to start out at King Sejong Station. Our classic StarCraft 2 map. Yeah. It's uh, it's a good one for this matchup. Sure. I like it quite a bit. So you can Maru mix it up, get some of his aggression out on first, and get that damage done. More likely than against Parting, at least. And the game is loaded up, so we're going to get right into this. Our final best of three for today. First against Maru here at Golem EXP. In the bottom right, in the green. KT Roaster first. In the upper left, the blue. Gineo Green Wings, Maru. Oh, checking that shoulder too. Yeah. Hope he's okay. I think he'll be fine. But uh, that is an issue that uh, people need to deal with and get better at dealing with. Something that uh, I've been trying to you know, I've actually read a little bit more on. Like I got, um, you know, you know, one that helped me out a lot was just having my monitor raised up to eye level. Yeah, yeah. That's you have uh, no idea something. how much you're hunching over until, yeah. like, if you're sitting at your computer and you realize your monitor is not, like, if you were going to basically sit up straight. You know, do you have to look, tilt your head down to look at your monitor? That's so bad for the upper part of your back. Just put taking some books or something, mm -hmm. putting it under the monitor, putting it up a little bit higher, yeah. it feels so much better. Indeed. Uh, there's a lot of various things. Like, I somewhat recently, it was a while ago now, got a gyroscope to try to exercise my wrist a bit. Oh, yeah, I flowing. want to get one of those, yeah. Uh, I haven't been able to actually play well, as much StarCraft a, right now. So. Another one that's uh, important is to actually get up from your PC and walk around. Yeah. Um, Definitely want to do that. Sitting Welcome is to bad the studios, guys. Welcome, guys. Feel free to Hope. make a sign. Hope There's still enjoying. time. Well, they're the guys that had the taste of signs that no one wanted to see. <laughs> they finally threw them out and they put them on camera. <laughs> 
No, I've been having some back problems because since my knee injury, you know, not been yeah. moving around. I'm just sitting in my computer chair all day. Sitting is the worst. So bad for you. It's like insane <laughs> how bad it is for you. I saw you. You haven't seen much Portlandia, have you? I've, well, I've watched a, a little bit, a few episodes. There's a scene that's so funny, and it's like the haunting ideas of someone who reads too many articles, basically. Yeah. And he's like sitting down, and you hear like the voice like, sitting's bad for you. Uh. Like he like stands up, and it's like, standing's bad for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. I like yeah. that a lot. Yeah. It's like everything's bad for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that sucks. I thought Hack was eliminated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, looks like a Reaper expand versus just a regular fast expansion here. <coughs> First, probably just slightly frustrated that, that was found so easily. Wanted to duck in there again and see is there going to be Raxes added or is there going to be tech added. Can't know for sure now. Does get his opponent scouting SCV though, that's nice. This should be a great series, man. I think it will These be. These two guys actually. are both so good. Um, yeah. Here comes a Reaper to try to scout. I think you would expect Maru to take this, but we'll see. Yeah, I think most people would be betting on Maru, but first is very, I mean, first actually in a way played the best today. <laughs> he really was beating Parting in that last series. Yeah, yeah. And then he made that one bad mistake. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, the difference between first and Parting. Parting is like a championship guy. First isn't there yet. Like, he's shown. Hints of the skill needed to win championships, but, you know, still looking for for that huge showing. He's grabbing a Twilight here. Maru is teching up right after that expansion. Okay, well, the Mothership Core is coming down now. Back towards the home base here. Twilight uh, Council is coming up, and a Reaper comes in here. Is he going to get a glimpse of this? Mm. Yep. Yes, he will. Okay, so that's a that's a pretty nice scout. He knows that it was seen. Uh, I wonder if he'll just grab the Robo right after this. It's a pretty popular build right now to go blink uh, one gate into Robo and then add your gates afterwards. Yeah, and it's more of a defensive blink build than an offensive yes. blink build. It's just like saying, okay, I'm going to get blink early, and that's that's about it. So, uh, But, yep, there it is. You and, called it. Yeah, that's, that's going to be nice against this uh, quick Widow Mind drop type of situation. So he will have the observers out rather quickly. Already has a lot of stalkers. He's like already getting his fourth stalker and has a mothership core. So as long as he's really on top of when and where Maru comes in and really just staring at that mini map and reacting quickly, Maru shouldn't really be able to get damage done with this. Usually at the highest level of play, the um, harass here from the Terran that comes out with the Widow Mines doesn't do <coughs> a ton of damage. No, certainly not. It gets Terran maybe just a little bit ahead, but it's not a game ender. Mm. Normally not. Bops do not occur from this. I would hope not. I don't like bops. No. Well, we have the medevac coming down now. And it looks like it's going to make a beeline here towards the main from this spot. Uh, you do have to be careful because with Blink, I mean, it's really easy to punish a, a medevac. It's really quite yeah. uh, simple. It's going to be finishing up rather quickly here as well. He's already got a pretty good spread in there. Good. Oh, wow, these pylons play so well. If he's really staring at this, shouldn't take any damage. There's some lost mining time. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that could have been so much worse. Uh, yeah, so that was pretty scary. I guess he was quick enough here. No. It was still a little bit slow, though. Blink just now finishes here. Um, you know, I took care of that pretty easily. The game mm -hmm. just goes forward from here. Yeah, just going right into his Colossus tech. Everything seems fine. Three probes, not as much as Marg really wanted. Some lost mining time, okay. So the game should be pretty normal from here, I would say. Well, uh, the Observer comes up now. It's just going to inspect around the main. Uh, we have you know, the stim, the uh, range attack being upgraded. We see that first is teching into Colossus. Uh, just using these three stalkers to control anything else around the map. I believe. Do we have a drop coming over here? Is that a Terran medevac over yeah, there on the upper is. right? Okay, center right now. That's right. He has two observers converging over here. Uh, they're just going to miss it. So this is going to catch him off guard. 
I do believe. See these observers coming out just, just late to see this. Okay, and here they come in now. Oh, no. Ouch, takes that out. Look at the blinking, man. Oh! <laughs> okay. Just I, when you thought it was over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, better drop that time, but still didn't do quite what he wanted. So the observer comes down now. He'll clean up that last. Widow mind, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, and 1 1 is starting now for Protoss. Yeah, the plus we one see. just about to finish for Maru, though. Yeah, Maru pushing out now. We'll see uh, how far he actually goes with this. It's a chance Terran just sits back and powers up, especially when you see medevacs being used this much. Mm. Is there really much incentive on trying to take a third base and risk being punished pretty hard by a Terran who harasses? Yeah, well, first definitely can't do that right now. That's for sure. Guy's gone one Colossus with some Blink Stalkers. He's going double Forge just now, so definitely yeah. doesn't have an opportunity to do that. He needs to let these gateways finish, get that 1-1 one, one done, get your Thermal Lance, and then he can start thinking about that third base. It's like Maru getting ready to take that third for himself. <coughs> Couple Meanwhile, more coming. Maru's coming up over here. Uh, and the third is ooh, nice blinking there. Third uh, not claimed yet. And you can see, yeah, he's just going to sit back, keep powering, play it safe. Maru, uh, you can see the confidence here in the play because he's building the command center at the third. Seeing there's no mm -hmm. way you can get out here. Yeah. Now will I have this pressure of Marines and Marauders over here. And in fact, he's going to drop with the main. Is this going to be spotted? Yes, yep. it is. There's no way. Does he actually see it? He has to I have. That went so. right through that. Well, let's scan here. You see okay. the stalkers moving. That's usually a pretty good tell. That. And look at oh this. Oh, my God. Ooh. He's going to unload on top. That's I so like sick. It. Yeah, really cool move here. Some Widow Mines coming out as well. Good wow. uh, usage of the Mothership Core, though. Look at that. Really good time warp. Really good Nexus Wow, that's cannon. really funny because that looked really good. Yeah. And then it got just completely wiped out. Yeah. The yeah. idea was pretty cool, though, but... It was. <laughs> it was a really cool uh, idea. That Appreciate the idea of the down. flank. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, when he scanned, the stalkers were walking the main, so he's like, okay, stalkers out of position because they saw my drop coming, which would go into the main, so may as well just flank this this force in the natural. But uh, some quick reaction from first, and he deals with it completely fine. Well, he's going to pick up over here. Stalker's way out of position right now. And actually come down and attack over here. Nice drop. Uh, Stimmy and a surround here on the Colossi. One goes down, the second one immediately picked off. He can pick up, back out, and that resets the Colossus tech, which Ooh. is really annoying right now because it means Protoss is just sitting on a bunch of Tier 1 units that can't really... Mm. Um, they don't have the backing of the, the lasers from the Colossi. Yeah, that's... This is... That was a really strong move brutal. right there. Ew, he has his third base up as well. There's no splash damage available for first right now, but he is going to have 2-2, two -two, so that's pretty important. Being up two upgrades is gigantic in this matchup. So he should be able to hold on still, I think. It's it's getting tough, though. He needs to get splash damage ASAP. Well, they're going to come down now. Um, the third is very vulnerable right now. Mario has a very good pincher right here. Oh, oh, man, what is he going to connect with? <laughs> well, loses his sentries there. Oh, Maro is actually going to get the third here, I think. It's even he's trying to back up right now. Mm. Uh, this Widow Mine, though, just still present. Well, he spoke too soon. Uh, he has not dropped in the main, but you can see you know, the grip that first has on the third base is it's slowly going away here. Now an attack up over to this, this, uh, the second base here. Well, uh, I think he will be able to hold on. He does have that Nexus Cannon, and Immortal, and a bunch of Blink Stalkers. Yeah, but this will he be able to hold on here. down here? No, it doesn't look like it. The single Immortal is not enough you to support those You know what he's going? He's going to, he, for a second, he was targeting down the Nexus. So he's going to lose the third for sure, it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's getting dicey at the second. But just getting one of these is more than enough. Yeah. Plus, he got the Colossus tech reset. He's just getting way too far ahead here. The, sniping those two Colossus was a gigantic move for sure. Okay, now I should push up this side and try to get this Nexus. This game actually could end in the next minute here. Yeah. If he does this just right. Well, By the way, supplies, it's 160 to 95. So, first is going to lose his natural and his, his third, I think. And 
from there, I think you just GG anyways. There's no way to kill him. There's no way to come back. He continues to kite out here. Beautifully done. Another attack comes up over here. Looks like he wanted to actually sandwich that army. Uh, and there's reinforcements on the way for this as well. He comes for it, guns down the Immortal. There's really not much else to help out here. Stalkers blink away, but it just does not matter. GG, Maru takes game number one. Yeah, just tearing first apart there. Uh, yeah. First had some very nice defense early on. He had a good build order opening. Uh, just didn't work out for him. That that moment when his blink stalkers were all in the middle of the map and Maru barely dodged those observers, that was a very important moment. The observers were going to check exactly for what Maru did, so he was just way out of position because it came in like, if Maru was two seconds later with that drop, uh, first is in a bit of a better position, maybe he doesn't lose two Colossus. I, I would be pretty frustrated if I was first. I mean, Maru played very well. He's just so good at these engagements. Yeah. Maru's super good in these, these really, the, aggressive dropping situations. The turning point in that game was when he dropped and killed the two Colossi. Yeah. That was where all of a sudden Maru had the liberty to do whatever he wanted on the map. You know, Colossi, they're great, powerful units, and they're um, great to be micro and they're super mobile, but they can be hard to protect sometimes. Yeah, they certainly can. Uh, and it not always just against spikes. I mean, you like, these big water towers walking around with yeah. laser beams. It's it's you tough to hide them. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> these big water towers and yeah, laser man. beams. Big Pretty walking much. water towers and laser beams. Pretty much. Well, Overgrowth is going to be the next map. A little bit easier to defend for sure. 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 This sure. is like, if First wants to play another uh, defensive macro game, kind of like what he opened with there, it's going to really behoove him because this is so much easier to stop drops on. There's so many, there's far fewer or less like, ways for Terran to attack you. Yeah. Well, we're going to go into game number two now. That's loaded up. The map's overgrowth. First against Morrow here. The winner of this series goes on to the round of 16 here in the 